It is obviously with very mixed emotions that I speak to you today. Yesterday, at press conferences in Fort Wayne and South Bend, I said that it will not be easy for me to bid farewell to my family and friends, my brother priests, and the faithful of the Diocese of Harrisburg. I am so very grateful for all the love and support I have received throughout these past five years as bishop of this great diocese. Indeed, I am very grateful for all the blessings of the past 26 years as a priest of the Diocese of Harrisburg. It has been a great privilege and a tremendous grace to have served here. I also stated yesterday that I was ready to go forth and serve in another area of the Lord's Vineyard, the Diocese of Fort Wayne, South Bend. Part of the life of the bishop and indeed of the life of every priest, is the willingness to accept new assignments, to go where we are sent. There is something very liberating about obedience in the church. When we do the Lord's will, even when it can be difficult at times, we experience a certain peace in our souls. I feel that peace in obeying the Lord's call by accepting this new appointment from the successor of St. Peter, Pope Benedict XVI. The bishops of the Catholic Church are the successors of the apostles. I am reminded of the lives of the first apostles who left family, occupation, and home to go forth, sent by Jesus, with the mandate to teach, sanctify, and serve as he did. Jesus said to the apostles, as the Father has sent me, so I send you. I am conscious of being sent from Harrisburg to Fort Wayne, South Bend. As I accept this appointment of our Holy Father, I do so with faith and trust in the Lord. I have before my eyes the example of the Good Shepherd, who came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life for the sheep. I ask for the prayers of the people of the Diocese of Harrisburg, that I may go forth with the strength needed to serve as a true shepherd after the heart of Christ in a new area of the Lord's vineyard. I will always be grateful for the years of my life spent in the Diocese of Harrisburg, my childhood and teenage years in Lebanon, my priestly assignments in York and Harrisburg, and my five years as bishop of this beautiful diocese. I will always remember the faithful of this diocese in my prayers. I pray that the Lord will continue to bless the Diocese of Harrisburg with his abundant love and grace. Thank you. Be happy to take any questions if any of the reporters have any. They were very timid in Fort Wayne yesterday. In South Bend, they weren't timid at all. Well, I think what brought me the most happiness the past five years was the increase in the number of our seminarians. And I said from the very beginning, and I was coming from the uh, experience at Mount St. Mary's Seminary, that one of my priorities was an increase in vocations to the priesthood. So I think if I had to point out one thing that I'm happiest about, it would be that. We, we had a very significant uh, increase in the number of our men preparing and studying for the priesthood. People here have been so supportive, though. I've, I've felt for the past five years so much love and, um, and uh, really a, a great faith here among our people. And uh, I'll certainly miss the diocese very much.
Yes, um, after I'm installed as Bishop of Fort Wayne South Bend, which will be on January 13th, shortly after that, the College of Consultors, which is a group of priests here in the diocese, will meet and they will elect a diocesan administrator who will lead the diocese during this time of what we call a vacant see. Um, and in the meantime, the Holy See, the, the, the Vatican, will be doing a consultation, and it's done very confidentially, um, to, to look into who would be my successor as bishop. And it's very important for the people to pray during this time that uh, for the new uh, bishop of Harrisburg, whoever will be the 10th bishop. Um, usually it will take several months, and uh, recommendations will be given to uh, the Holy Father, Pope Benedict, and then he will choose who will succeed me as Bishop of Harrisburg. In the interim, we'll have something called an administrator? That's right. The, the College of Consultors will elect a priest who would be the diocesan administrator to take care of uh, the ordinary, everyday uh, functioning of the diocese until a new bishop is appointed by by Pope Benedict. Are there any other questions? People we spoke to today said that you were very good at bringing people together in this community. Do you think that's why you were called to this expedition? That's a good question. You know, I've loved being Bishop of Harrisburg. I mean, the people have been so supportive of me. It's been wonderful to have the opportunity to to bring people together, as, as you just said. Um, and I really don't know. I mean, I think the, the Holy See, the, the Vatican and, and the Pope, uh, they look at uh, the needs of a particular diocese, and then they look at possible bishops who would, or priests who would, would, um, would be, um, have, have the gifts and talents for service in that particular diocese. I have no idea because I was never consulted, obviously. I, I received a phone call three weeks ago from the Pope's representative in the United States, Archbishop Sambi, he's the Apostolic Nuncio, who informed me that, that Pope Benedict had appointed me Bishop of Fort Wayne South Bend and asked me if I accepted. And uh, of course, in obedience, I accepted the new appointment. That consultation, though, happened prior to that with, with I'm sure, many bishops, and, and it's a confidential consultation, many bishops, priests, laity. Um, and looking at trying to look at what the particular needs of a diocese might w would be, and then who would be uh, have have the um, qualifications for that diocese, and that's what will happen here in Harris for, for the diocese of Harrisburg. What emotion were you feeling when you received that call? Well, I was very surprised. I mean, I I know there was surprise yesterday when the announcement was made. Uh, a lot of people were were shocked or surprised. I don't know if anyone was more surprised than I was three weeks ago. And um, when I received the call from the Apostolic Nuncio, I, um, I was expecting to stay here in Harrisburg. So um, to be moved to Fort Wayne South Bend uh, was something I never even thought of. Uh, I, was, I was extremely surprised. And, um, and then for the past three weeks, the only other person that I was able to speak with was Bishop Darcy, the Bishop of Fort Wayne South Bend. Wonderful, wonderful bishop. Um, but I, you know, it wasn't, I wasn't allowed to speak about the change until it was made, announced by the Vatican uh, yesterday on Saturday. Um, so my, my feeling was, was one of, of great surprise. I was only in that diocese once in my life, and that was for a football game <laughs> three years ago when Penn State played Notre Dame. And, uh, and that's, uh, that's a wonderful place, you know, the University of Notre Dame and, the, and, and South Bend. Uh, but I had never been to Fort Wayne until, yes, until I arrived there on Friday evening. But uh, people were very friendly, very welcoming. I received a very warm reception in both Fort Wayne and in South Bend yesterday. And last evening I had mass at Notre Dame at the Basilica of the Sacred Heart, a beautiful church there. And the students were, were, were wonderful. You know, so. Does this mean you're rooting for Notre Dame now? And I was rooting for Notre Dame before. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>